Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSC Information and Communication Technology Paper 2 for May June 2023. You have been supplied with the following source files. I have copied the source files here. Task 1 is preparing the evidence document. We need to open J2321 evidence.rtf and make sure your name, center number, candidate number are shown on every page and this should be saved as evidence followed by your candidate number so this is the required file let's save this save as word document and I will save it as evidence followed by your candidate number task 2 document you are going to edit a document for the Tavera Cycling Festival. The company uses corporate house style for all their documents. Using suitable software package, open the file j2321 festival.rtf. So let's open festival. The page setup is set to A4 portrait and 2 cm margins. Do not make any changes. Three paragraph styles have already been created. Do not make any changes. Save the document in your work area with the file name festival. Make sure that it is saved in the format of the software you are using. So save as festival and it must be saved as word document. Place in your evidence document a screenshot to show this file has been saved. Make sure that there is evidence of the file type. So this is the folder where I have saved it. Make sure the file type is shown properly. Now you can take a screenshot. And that is step 1 evidence. Place in the header of the festival document your name, center number, candidate number, right aligned. So this is the festival document. Insert header. So on the right side you have to insert your name, center number and candidate number. Place in the footer automated page numbers left aligned. So insert footer page numbers left aligned. So you can give page number and give current position. So the page number is inserted. Make sure all alignments match the page margin. No other text or placeholders are included. So it's already matching and we have not inserted any other text. Create and store the following style basing it on the default normal paragraph style. So let's create the style. On home tab you can click on the scroll bar and create a style. The name of the style is CF title. Click on modify. It should be based on the default normal paragraph style. So make sure style based on normal. The phone style is serif, phone size 32, alignment center. serif so you have to choose times new roman the font size is 32 type 32 and press enter 32 center aligned then it is bold italic line spacing is single then 0 and 9 space after and before so bold italic 
for the line spacing go to format paragraph line spacing is single the spacing before the paragraph is 0 and after the paragraph is 9 take a screenshot to show that you have defined the settings for CF title style make sure there is evidence that you have based on the normal style so let's keep it this way and take the screenshot That is step 3 evidence. Apply the CF title style to the title text Tavara Cycling Festival. So Tavara Cycling Festival select and we have to apply CF title. Next change the page layout so that the subheading, the trails and the following text up to and including the paragraph ending their equipment is safe is displayed in two columns the subheading trails so that means from here till the paragraph ending with the words equipment is safe so I'll just find where is that paragraph is safe so till here we have to select from here till the subheading trails So this should be set as two columns of equal width with a 1.5 cm gap. So go to layout, columns, more columns, two and the spacing is 1.5 with equal width. Give OK. Import the image rider.jpg and place it in the paragraph beginning all trails start and finish so this is the paragraph all trails start and finish let's insert the image insert pictures from this device select your folder and j321 rider insert reflect the image so that the bike points to the left so select the image on picture format you can see the reflect option so make it flip horizontal so that the bike points to the left format the image so that it's resized to a width of 4 centimeters with aspect ratio maintained so right click size and position the width is 4 centimeters 4 centimeter and aspect ratio is maintained give ok it is aligned to the left column margin and the top of the paragraph the text wraps around the image for that we need to set the text wrap select the image go to wrap text and set it to square so that the text wraps around it is on the left margin and it aligns with the top line of the paragraph. Apply bullets to the text from bike handling till yoga for cyclists. So these are the bullets. They didn't say any specific bullets, so we can choose any one bullet from here. Make sure the bullets are intended 1.5 centimeters from the left margin. So right click on the bullets, go to paragraph. The intendation before text you have to give 1.5 centimeter. Give OK. The list is in single line spacing with no space before or after each line. So select the bullets, right click, go to paragraph, 
line spacing is single no spacing before and after give zero okay there is a six point space after the last item in the list so this is the last item select this right click paragraph only for this we have to give six point after the paragraph give ok so there is a spacing after the last bullet locate the table in the document delete the entire column and the contents with the heading lunch so this is the table so I need to delete this column lunch select the column right click delete columns format the left column of the table so that it looks like the left column of this table so let's give the border select the table give all borders you can see this is merged so select this cells in the first column right click merge cells again right click go to text direction and make sure it is given in this way give ok it is in the middle so let's give the alignment in the middle go to layout the cell alignment should be center now it should be filled with black color make sure all this comes on one line just double click apply the CF table style to columns 2 3 4 of the table so columns 2 3 4 select you have to apply CF table style make sure that all the text of each row displays on one line we have already done that one point black internal and external grid lines are displayed when printed so we have already displayed the grid line let's check its one point go to borders and shading the width must be one point give ok the table borders and all the data fit within the column width there is a six point space after the table so we need to give a six point space after the table that means we have to give a six point space before this paragraph so select this paragraph right click paragraph before six point give ok locate the text new in the table and format it to be superscript so that it looks like this star new we have to select the word star new and we have superscript here click on this next spell check and proofread the document make sure that so first let's spell check so go to review spelling and grammar grammatical mistakes can be ignored you can we don't have to change anything only check the spelling mistakes ignore you can ignore this just make sure the spellings are right so the spell check is done make sure the list and the table are not split over two columns so the list is not split and also the table is not split over two columns there are no widows or orphans just make sure the widow orphan control is set right click paragraph in line and page breaks you can see widow orphan control make sure it is set so that there are no widows or orphans 
there are no blank pages the original styles are maintained all styles are applied consistently spacing is consistent so there are no blank pages and all the styles are applied save the document using the same file name and print the document so you can save this and print So this is the end of the document production task. The next task database will be uploaded in another video. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for now.